Welcome back to the Mr. Spaceman Guy YouTube channel. Today, we're talking about the Discord 2.0 update for your Elgato Stream Deck. Is this the best update that we've seen for the app? Is this the best new hot plugin that you're gonna be telling all your friends about? There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Welcome back. And before we jump into today's video, make sure you guys do the thing that's happening right here. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Keep those notifications on. I want to hear what you guys have to say about today's video down in that comment section. And make sure you stick around until the end because we have a big announcement. Okay, so the Discord 2.0 update has just come out. This adds new functions and new features that we haven't seen before in the app. It keeps a few of the old ones. As you can see right here, this is the standard that they had for a long time. We've got mute, deafen, voice channel, text channel, push to talk, push to mute. Now, most of these features are still available as you'll see as we go through this video. So let's jump in and check out the new update. Now, before you begin, make sure you guys update your firmware and software uh, for your Elgato Stream Deck and your Discord app. You're gonna wanna click on the cog wheel. You're gonna wanna go down to your general tab, check for updates, make sure you have the latest version. Currently, the time recording this video is 6.2.1.18825, in case you were wondering. Now, in order to get this update, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go up to the top here you're gonna to wanna to hit the Stream Deck app with the plus sign. You're gonna to wanna to go to the plugins tab here on the left. And you're gonna either, you can type it in here, you can type in Discord up at the top. And right down here, you have Social Discord by Elgato. You're gonna to wanna to install that. If you already have it installed, you don't need to worry about it. So make sure you install that. You can go ahead and close out. And then it will be dropped into your bar over here on the right hand side. Go ahead and click and open that and you should see the current update and everything available for the plugin. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. What you're gonna to wanna to do first is grab your soundboard. The soundboard will drag and drop it over into the first slot on our Elgato Stream Deck. If your friends already have a soundboard set up within Discord, it will identify that if you're part of the server. So I have a couple here. And all we're gonna do is we drag the soundboard up there. We're just gonna go ahead and click on it and it's gonna change that one to one we call hockey. And then you can do the same thing. You can drag another one over if you want. And we'll grab one from the Discord sounds, the air horn. It's a very popular one. A lot of people use this. And now you have to be in a Discord call in order for these to work. You're going to see these pop up in my Discord and you're gonna see those light up. Now we can play those sounds. We're in hockey pets. This is probably one of my favorite features that comes with the new plugin. Uh, this eliminates having to have your own uh, soundboard or hotkeys. You can just do it right from your stream deck. Makes it unbelievably easy. The next six were ones that we just talked about at the beginning of the video. That's going to be your mute, deafen, voice channel, text channel, push to talk, and push to mute. We're going to go ahead and drop these in to the stream deck. The mute and deafen are pretty much standard within Discord calls. Maybe you have a hot key set up on your keyboard. Uh, that's normally the easiest way, but this is gonna save you that space on your keyboard. You don't have to do that anymore. So all you have to do is press that button. We drag the Discord over, drop that in. We're gonna go ahead and mute. You'll see that on the bottom of the screen. You'll also see that in the top of the stream deck as well. Same with deafen. We'll go ahead and hit deafen and now you see deafen in the Discord. It's down here and on your stream deck as well. What the voice channel does is gonna pull you into your favorite voice channel in Discord. You're gonna be able to go into any one, any server that you're a part of, you're gonna be able to see it. You're gonna be able to get in there as fast as you can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into a different room called the Hollow Deck. We're gonna go ahead and hit that. Boom, now we've moved into the Hollow Deck and you can just leave the call as well. It shows our server icon. When you're not in the call, we go back in, we're in the deck. Text channel is gonna take you to whichever server you choose. You can set up as many as you want. Go back to the great beyond, Whitaker and friends. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have our Discord open. 
we want to make sure that this thread is important we want to we want to see something we're going to go ahead and click over to it there it is right there there's my cat Whitaker laying in a laying on his bed push to talk push to mute this is pretty standard stuff here uh as we are in an open call we can go ahead and hold you'll see that we are at this time currently muted we go ahead and let go we are unmuted and we are back we are back to talking no issues there now push to talk kind of works the same way you're going to be able to uh, if you're currently muted and you just need to do a quick interjection press the button now you can talk boom you're back to being muted we're going to jump down a few steps here and we're going to go to voice input mode toggle now we're going to unmute here now what voice input mode toggle is going to do for us is going to either have us in an open mic or it's going to be in a push to talk situation you can currently see we are in a push to talk now you're in an open mic uh and that's the difference you're gonna be able to switch between these two specific buttons so push to talk now we can go over and we can use our push to talk button we press that we're gonna be able to be uh, heard within our discord calls we let go you can't hear us in the discord call you press this you're back to an open mic this is a fantastic feature set audio devices up next and this is going to be important if your discord settings are different than what you use uh maybe in game uh, or any other kind of feature that you have so we're gonna go ahead and drag over set audio device place that on our stream deck go down to the bottom and click mode and you're going to be able to set your input your output or both my uh my input is going to be my default which is my microphone and my output is going to be my default which is my uh system settings on my go xlr so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit that button and you're going to see my output change output goes to default so now that will be routed through a different way so i don't have to use that on my go xlr it can come through a different part of my computer whichever you want so any option that you have available as far as your output devices here you're going to be able to use those and switch those just like that all right so next up is going to be server stats server stats is going to give you live data about what's going on on a server that you wish to monitor it's not going to give you any push button functionality but it will show you uh information displayed on your stream deck let's go ahead and head to our server the great beyond so we want to display the new message count here and we also have the option of displaying our users we can display online users or display recently active users so we're going to go ahead and click on online users we currently have 21 available on the server um and that's going to just let us know kind of the traffic that we have going in and out of our discord server all right so the next feature we're going to show you is the notifications this is a brand new one notifications is going to let you know when someone tags you in a discord server you're going to be able to uh see the message right away my good friend platinum toast is going to send me a message right now in discord you're going to see the logo pop up right here now what we're going to be able to do is press that notification on our stream deck right there's the message in the discord next up is going to be user volume control and what that's going to do it's going to be able to have you set up uh users in your discord you're going to be able to adjust mute or set their volumes and you have the option of a uh, static icon a dynamic horizontal or a dynamic vertical and you're going to be able to increase or decrease by percentages now if you have uh someone like my good friend platinum toast who happens to be a uh, very very loud uh person go real loud for me yo what's going on okay Space so there Man. he is really loud he's gonna continue to talk but we're gonna drop him down by uh yo. drop him down to 70 percent so here How he is doing? keep talking toast what's going on one two three boom we've dropped him down now his volume is going to be way lower we can readjust that by by the percentage or just by tapping on your on your stream deck you're going to see his icon and move up now we're going to know that uh his volume has been turned up toast if we could have you talk for me hello what's going on there it is now it's also going to light up uh on your stream deck you're going to know when he's talking you're going to be able to see where his volume's at 
and that's gonna make it a whole lot easier for you to adjust those on the fly i absolutely love this new feature this might be the best functionality that they have put on the stream deck and the last update for the discord 2.0 is going to be volume control and that volume is for your input and output device for you within discord so what we're going to do now is we're going to set our output our desired volume is going to be 200 percent because we want it to be extremely loud so we're going to go ahead and we're going to open discord and now when we hit that volume button you're going to see our output jump all the way up to 200 percent and you're going to be able to do that with your input as well making it super easy and super fast for adjustments i'm going to be honest with you i absolutely love this new update 2.0 for the elgato stream deck i've got no complaints i love everything about it from the soundboard to the user volumes to your chat volumes it makes things so much easier to use so much quicker than having to alt tab out everything can be done from your elgato stream deck just like i said at the beginning of the video if you're looking for a stream deck for yourself make sure you check down in the description below we are giving away the brand new elgato stream deck plus it's right here look at this thing it's gorgeous why would you not want one of these so thank you guys once again for checking out this video we look forward to seeing you in the next one and as always bye